welcome back to Whole Future, guys. Check out the article below. This is crazy good news, in my opinion. But the AMA has called for a ban on direct-to-consumer advertising for pharmaceutical drugs and implantable medical devices. But they're basically saying that they don't want the pharmaceutical companies advertising directly to the consumer anymore. And as we know, this is mostly through TV. I think it's something like 60% of ads on TV or pharmaceuticals or something now. I don't, I don't know. It's high. It's a lot. <laughs> pharmaceutical companies 15 years ago didn't advertise on TV. They weren't allowed to. And now the AMA is saying well, we need to bring that ban back because too many people are coming to their doctor demanding certain medication for diseases that they don't necessarily have and don't need and the $4.5 billion that Big Pharma spends on advertising has got to be coming out of somebody's pocket and they've noticed that drug prices keep going up and they're saying that basically all this advertising is raising drug prices and it's creating confusion with consumers and it's making doctors jobs a lot more difficult to get people well so I want to say first off I applaud the AMA for this move I think it's awesome big uh, pharmaceutical industry says that they're fighting back that you know consumers need to be informed and so on and so forth they'd still be allowed to advertise to doctors but they would be allowed to advertise to people directly on TV or in magazines or that kind of thing so I wanted to know y'all's thoughts on this leave a comment down below I'm just gonna let you know mine right now I think this is an awesome move I think there's a little more to the story that uh, doesn't quite make it into the article first off that all this advertising is raising up the drug prices the fact is that the drug prices aren't based on oh they figure out their costs and how much it costs to manufacture it and advertise it and then they just bump in a little bit more profit and they sell it at that no <laughs> this is called supply and demand economics and they sell it for as much as the market will bear that is how business works there's nothing wrong with that they're gonna sell it for whatever price they can get away with that people will pay for it and I think that's the free market I think that's awesome besides the fact that the drugs are toxic and they kill 100,000 people every year using prescription drugs in the manner in which they were prescribed so normally I would have no problem with it but these drugs are dangerous they are hurting people and they are suppressing symptoms and not treating the root cause of disease okay if you I don't watch very much television I got nothing against people who do but occasionally I find myself in a situation where I got like watch some TV and I see a commercial I'm just blown away that people are just like exposed to this all the time because it's like it is crazy town okay because you watch the commercials on television and it's all processed and junk foods animal foods you got chilies Burger King chicken nuggets okay and then you got commercials for diabetes medication, pain medication, heartburn, erectile dysfunction. These are all diseases of lifestyle. These are all diseases of eating processed foods and animal foods, okay? Because the human organism evolved in an environment where it ate whole plant foods. And now that we're not eating those, we experience these other foods harm us. So then we take drugs but then those drugs have side effects, so we take more drugs. And so now we're suppressing a bunch of symptoms, but we never treated the root cause of disease. So we're just getting sicker and sicker and paying more and more for drugs, not really getting any results. This is why America has such high health care bills and such low health care outcomes. So right here I got uh, fruits and vegetables. Okay, this is a persimmon smoothie. Tastes like candy corn and pumpkin pie. This is just whole fruit blended up with some water. It tastes amazing. They got all the full nutrient profile, vitamins, minerals, protein, carbs, fats, phytonutrients, okay? <laughs> nutrients that are only found in plants in their whole form. I haven't <laughs> gotten sick or missed a day of work or school in five years because this is the way that I eat. <sighs> Diet has so much more of an effect on health than just being on a bunch of drugs that's just gonna basically suppress your symptoms never treat the root cause of disease and keep you sick and I'm I just applaud 
the medical doctors, the medical doctor association realized like the drug problem has gotten out of control. It's gotten out of control. And they realized that the medical doctors don't really have control of the drugs anymore. The pharmaceutical companies control it. And they're basically just the puppets. And these companies, the puppeteers, and, you know, they will do things like, I don't know, um, get the government to agree that they are not liable for any side effects of any vaccine. And if you experience a negative side effect of a vaccine, you have to report it to the government and the government has to compensate that person with American tax dollars. Well, the, the pharmaceutical company who sells it and makes a profit from it doesn't have to answer to anybody. That's a story for another time. But basically, I wanted to know your guys' thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Share this video. I think it's a very, very important topic. And definitely read the article and stay on top of this because this is, this is huge. This could be a huge shift for healthcare in this country. So thank you for watching, guys. Catch you next video. Hey guys, subscribe to Whole Future on YouTube and check out Whole Future on Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat as well.